Alrighty, howdy neighbors and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Last time we found out her name, like her little name is Old Bag, which I think is very amusing. And we also found out that she deleted a photo of a child who wandered onto the studio lot. Which is a very big piece of evidence that she just decided to delete. Meaning that the kid probably saw the murder. So we need to find the child and we need to question him. Anyway, let's go. Mr. Powers. Yes. That was strange. We were really in the dressing room. I didn't go to the studio. I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping, honest. So who is still samurai in the security photo? How should I know? So samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Someone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You should take better care of your stuff. I can imagine anyone would want to steal a steel samurai costume. So, where does this leave me? It doesn't look good. Sneeze. You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick? What can do? Just two years play for more time. We started tar targeting someone that could conceivably have done this. Right. And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day. Right. If we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. I'll sound very optimistic. I'm not on this at all, actually. Hey, Nick. It's time. Okay, let's go. What does that mean? I guess I'll like that. Sniff. <laughs> we will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will you, would you, will you present the prosecution's thoughts on the matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studio was a boy at roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence. But there's still no one else that could commit this crime. If it's not hard evidence, then we shouldn't be arresting them. I feel like that should be standard practice. I call for a verdict of guilty. The defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright. Your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could commit this crime. Order. Interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind. However, be aware this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. You should accuse someone who is obviously innocent, or be penalized. Alright, great. Did the stakes went high enough? So, who is the person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed the crime? Uh, 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 um, uh, 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 you. Security lady, Wendy old bag. Who? Oh. Still Samurai was dragging his leg in the picture. I mean whoever was in the suit knew about the, that morning's injury. Maybe because they have been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about that injury. Security lady old bag. What? Over Snapper? Order, order. It's a true old bag. Old bag? That's a missile bag to you. This old bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no ally. She had briefly left her post to steal the steel samurai suit. Instead of the studio one, the scene of the mother. Why'd she go through the trouble of wearing the steel samurai costume? Simple, your honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take a picture. If she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see. I slammed the detective reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right there. She like Holmes too, baby. It's not correct. Hmm? That's odd. This is where Edgeworth pounces. He doesn't usually jump up 
They usually jump up with an objection. And some new damning evidence. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on the matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. What? What? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you all think I did it, is that it? It's your boy, don't just sit there do something. That's my move. Maybe now's my chance to take this whole thing. That's better. Very same reasoning that makes Mr. House suspect of the case. Can be used to cast doubt on Miss Old Black's actions on that day. But why would I do something as so horrible to poor Hammer? I get that Mr. Powers likes a clear motive too. Indeed. I did it. Now Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute. I just realized, she, I feel like she's the only one with her head proportionate to her body. What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy. The one whose photo I erased. It's only grade school, though, you said. It's like a third grade, was it? That doesn't matter. Now it's his age. I could pin my old man at ten seconds tops. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? And that boy's not the killer. What? How could you be so sure? Or, oh, oh, oh. Or they'd be nice to the kids and mean to your elders' day. Or for Snapper. I have proof. Proof? Indeed. Then, let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. A proof that shows the boy could not have committed the murder. Probably a samurai spear. Take that! Your Honor, the murder weapon is samurai spear. The very spear is shown here in the photo. How could the boy have taken the spear? Is it possible? I see. Well, would the witness could comment on this? Murph. The windbag speechless. This has to be a first. Very well. The court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about witness. your witness, Miss Windy. What's her name? Something old bag, Your Honor. He doesn't even care. The prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. The court is adjourned. We did it. Wait a second. I'm not gonna just sit here while you run off barking up the wrong tree. Me. I'm talking. Even Edgeworth is like, what the hell? Ah, great. Stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. This old bag. What is it all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, you must know. There's something I was told not to talk about. Not to talk about? Why who? Huh? It wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk. Well, testify. What is testimony? My lips were sealed. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. The, there were some other people in the studios on the day of the murder. They said it had nothing to do with- Oh, they said they had nothing to do with it, see? Was the studio too? I bet my biscuits on studio too! They told me to just pretend they hadn't been in the studio that day. But if you're- Going to go accusing me. I'm not letting them go scot free. Tell them, lady. Missile bag. This is crucial information. Why did you get this from the court until now? Had you been listening? They don't want to shut my trap. They always do what I'm told. We've been telling you to shut up this whole time and you haven't. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. When is the power of the old bag? Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination. Alright, let's proceed. The studio has wanted me to keep quiet about something. Hold it! <laughs> so, you were told not to talk. That's right. Now the studio and the TV big ones, no less. Why didn't I hear about this? You put your heart on yourself, Sonny. We were all in on that one. 
There were some other people in the studio. They were the murderer. Who were these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. Director. I'm sure I know something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through of their actions here without a director? Of course. Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime. They had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in Studio 2, in studio two trailer. Studio 2. Or studio 2? But you dumb stuff up! Okay. What have I been saying? <laughs> I'm telling you, psychic powers over here. Clairvoyance of my stupidity. Well, if you look at the guide map. Here it is. And that's what I was saying. They can be over here, walk up, and get him while he's there. They go through the gate, and all the way to the left. The path where the monkey's head was falling over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue to... Would you like to continue the cross-examination? I think I've already asked all my questions, but... Yeah. They said they had nothing to do with it, see. This old bag. This is a child for murder. I know that's silly. So they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. And they gave me a little bonus on the side. You got your bonus and you still talked. Hmm. Here are some of the questions I have to ask. I'm going to keep going. Oh wait, they were already done. Let them go away scot free. Oh, then. Who are these people? Director and the producer. They were in Studio 2. I think I'm good. Your Honor, we have learned that there were others at Global Studios in the day in question. The director and the producer and some bigwigs were all present. Yet as we stand, they have not been questioned. I hold that it's impossible to declare, to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information on the witness, Miss Old Bag, and more information about these other people we have just been told of. Oh, Edgeworth is not a happy camper. I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceeding in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. This court is adjourned. Now we did it. October 18th, 1.04 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Oh, really? It's nothing. Or should I say, sneak? We're going down to the studios to do some more investigating. We have to find out more about the director and producer. We'll be turning up the next trial as witnesses for sure. Now's my chance to get the material for cross examination. So, Nick, have we figured out just who was in the Steel Samurai costume? Could it really have been the old windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Maybe I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Mr. Powers. Oh, I'm bad. Kinda sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points in there. With or without my accusation. Okay, let's get down to the studios. Alright. I'll be back to visit you soon. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Sneef. To be continued. This is terrible. I f I feel like we're going in circles.
October 18th. Right in co law office. Oh, what a day. No time for relaxing, Nick. So you think WP's got a chance? I almost said W2. <laughs> I don't know why. It really depends on the people we found out about in today's trial. The director and producer. Yeah, them. Well, we're going here then. Let's go to the studios. <laughs> what do we do? What do you think we should do? What do I. Why don't we just do what you just said? Yeah, let's keep on the director and the producer. Alright, no point in here. That's what I've been saying! Let's get to the studio's pronto. Any ideas? I don't have enough information to make a case yet. Exactly the same thing you said yesterday. Just a minute, you don't have a clue what's happening. There's not enough information. I stay outside, the hotel across the way is always been full. I'll avoid happily cleaning the room. I already looked all these, but I like when it's all check marked. Beautiful. And the beauteous check mark everywhere we go. Alright, cool, cool. Let's go. Right, let's talk to him real quick. Number 18th, the Tetris Center, visitor's room. Oh, Mr. Wright. Thank you for earlier. Not at all. We got lucky to tell the truth. You say that again. Let's not. So, WP. Do you have any leads that might get us going in the right direction? Mmm, sorry, but no. Be sure to tell us anything that comes to mind, no matter how small. We can't rely on getting lucky again tomorrow. Yeah. Sneak. The fanboy. Do fanboys sneak into the studios often? No, not that I know of. Security lead is pretty strict with them. Today's testimony. She didn't say that they were hanging, that they were often hanging around. The kids really, really love the seal samurai. They sneak past when she's not looking, I guess. The director? Was the director present in the morning went through? Yeah, yeah, he was. He was directing how the seal samurai and the April magistrate should move. Why didn't you tell us that before? Well, just the studio asked me to keep quiet. I have nothing to do with this. I need to prove myself. Nick here is a newbie lawyer, fresh off the bar. When he loses, he's going to lose big. I say, Sneef. Whose side is she on? You're not hiding anything else from us, are you? No, I sure hope not. And then get the check marks. Studio. October 18th, 2.16 p.m. Global Studios main gate. No one's here. Right, now that they have Miss Bag in custody. Guess they don't have anyone else to replace her. Hey! In the guard station, look, she left her donuts. What? I'm not gonna eat them. Lies. Please, film studios, don't need that. Probably have a police officer on patrol out there. Okay, and then in here. The computer that runs the the, uh, the security camera footage. Looks like it's been turned off for the day. Security guard station. This old bag must look junk food. Amount of it on the desk. Let's go on the move. Uh, let's go outside Studio One. Two eighteen, Studio One entrance. Hey Nick, so I checked if she wasn't here today. You're right. He's probably up to his deck of paperwork after the commotion at today's trial. So Nick, remember that Studio Two's a ra oh, remember that Studio Two we heard about at the trial today? It's on the path of the fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think that's what they said. Remember the director and the rest of them are there today. That's a chance, Nick. Let's check it out. I was planning on it. But you know me. Your head is really heavy. Yeah. 
and did knock that tree over when it fell. Both of these, the monkey head and the tree, fell on the day of the murder, didn't they? That's what Detective Gumshoe said. Security camera. Oh. The security camera that automatically takes pictures of the people here. Took two pictures on the day of the murder before the actual time of death. One of them was still samurai, the other was a grade school boy. It doesn't seem to be switched on today. Maybe we're not filming. Let's come here someday, what do you say? See if the security lady lets us in. Here to mascot. Apparently, it's a monkey of some kind. I've seen a monkey with nose like that before. I want to put his head back on. Maybe we should ask the assistant. I'm not sure we really want her fixing anything. You would probably need a crane to move that thing. Probably so. Studio one. Studio where he died. Yada yada yada. Okay, let's go. Uh, outside Studio Two. October 18th. Studio Two entrance. It's the Studio Two. I thought so. It doesn't look much like a studio, does it? Nah, that it does not. Hey, there's a trailer over there. It was pretty sturdy for a movie set trailer. Are you sure this is a studio? I don't like materials for moving a for making a movie set. They've been sitting here for quite some time. Might as well be a junkyard. It's a big two painted here. All because studio two. Probably. I don't know anything like a studio. It's bent! There's some flowers here. So pretty. We're taking good care of these. Get too close. That fence looks dangerous. What if? What if? What if? Because this railing would be. Hip high, maybe? I think that's typically how they do it. But if you're super tall, it would be lower on your person or lower center of gravity. So if homie is super tall, you can push him. And it would dent. Close inspection. This really looks like it's been here for a while. I don't think it's part of some temporary film set. Is this like their office? Nick, let's go inside. Think it's okay? Oh well, it's locked. Aw oh, shucks. I can't look inside. Sorry. What's the two people in here? Nothing left in the plates. Oh, so they ate T-Bone Sticks too. Put the sticks around here. It's always a mistake. Something does seem out of place. I don't know. This feels odd. Where are the bones if it's a steak? Incinerator. Apparently they just put this one in. Pretty covered in soot. They must not clean it much. A light event for moving stuff and equipment around. Could have pretty good shape. Looks like it'd run fine. Let's give it a drive. Sure. If I had a license. Nick, you don't have a driver's license? Dude, me neither. Look, I have this. Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? Some things just take priority. Uh, move. Wait, we can't go in? Hold on. Salmon. Can we go in? No, we cannot. There's nothing else over here. Except for T-bone steaks, but without bones. Who just eats the bone? They don't have dogs on set. Otherwise we would have heard them and I would have left. Guess outside of Studio One. Uh, move to inside of Studio One. Do we Studio One? I don't really want to be in here. 
Yeah, it's a murder scene. I'm gonna go place someplace else, Nick. Too bad. Ladder. Step ladder. The difference. Stop judging. Looks like there's nothing new. Freaking light. Jack Henry's body. Find his costume. If it's spear stabbing, it'll be blood stains. Well, Nick, you're a star. Stop that. This is still Samurai Show. Mount Fuji. I guess we're going to the dressing room. Sorry. October 18th, Global Studios employee area. Look, it's that assistant girl. Hey! Hi, WP's lawyers, right? Heard about the trial. Great job, guys. Oh, 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 don't mention it. Is it true they caught the security lady? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Actually, she just called me. I wanted to cover up the drain. You mean that one? Wow, what a mess. I know. I'm not so good with handiwork. So assistant, right? Yeah, but you do work on the props and backdrops, right? Right. Because lots of times they end up looking worse than they did before I fixed them. Oh, no. oh. I'm sure these things happen. Nothing to worry yourself about. You're right. I won't. Personally, I think she should worry at least a little bit more. Oh, excuse me, I have to go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fill in from this old bag. Alright, see you later then. Good luck with your investigation. God, it looks like something I would do. For the fanboy they were talking about in the trial today. They came through the drain. So it seems. I guess they covered it up in a hurry. Hey. Hey, Nick! The drain's covered. The boy won't be able to get in. It's a hack job, so he's gonna be able to. Yeah, I think that was the idea. I'm kinda sorry for him, though. Don't you? What? Want me to rip the grid off? Really, Nick, you- we can? Oh, she's serious. Uh-oh. Leave it. Nah, I think we should leave it here. No, we just repaired it. If we take it off, this thing will get yelled at by who- by you-know-who. Yeah, I guess so. I would expect her to take it that hard. Half finished back up the stage here. The castle. The bike. Ways of the other day's lunch is cut around. It's probably too short to clean up. There's a tea bone on one of the plates when I steak. Are you forklift certified? storage room and then and then we look all around and there's this it's just the same thing I guess okay oh too bad it's sold out unfortunate we can't look in the dressing room is not locked not thieves. We need to take that car key. We borrowed that. There's a difference. Eh, not really. Alright, let's go inside. Door 18th, Global Studios, dressing room. This is where Seal Samurai costume was on the day of the murder. As Mr. Power says, at least. I think they snuck in and took it while he was sleeping. But Nick, what if Mr. Powers had him sleeping? I wonder what the killer was planning to do then. Was he drugged? Hmm. 
maybe maybe in in the um what's it called the drink because that's like the easiest way to do it Got a point. i'm actually gonna go ahead and end the episode here so we can investigate next time so thank you very much for watching and hopefully i will see you later